Dramatic rescue. A woman you see right there dangling high in the air from an open drawbridge. It all turned out all right, but how did she get there in the first place? ABC's Gio Benitez has the story. Watch closely in the pink shirt, a woman in her 50s holding on, trapped on a railroad drawbridge. She had just finished a charity walk in Fort Lauderdale. Oh my gosh, she's stuck up there. Below her, a river, and any sudden move could send her right into it. The woman telling ABC News she used to take rock climbing classes, lessons she used Saturday. They were just telling her to stay onto the bridge and hold on and not to jump, not to lock her knees. Eyewitnesses say she began crossing the bridge while warning sirens rang. And before she could make it across, the bridge began to rise. As the bridge rose higher into the air, the woman began to press her back up against it, clinging on for dear life. Really upsetting. People here were crying. People were really concerned. She wasn't supposed to be on the train tracks. Her son telling us she's legally blind and couldn't see the no trespassing sign. The bridge operator couldn't see her because that person works 400 miles away. The bridge is operated remotely from Tallahassee. This woman, who police haven't named, held on long enough for firefighters to save her life with a 24-foot ladder, people below cheering her on. 20 minutes and completely unhurt. For Good Morning America, Gio Benitez, ABC News, New York. Wow, thank goodness for mm -hmm. that ending. Mm.